garage. They say get out, but that's a tight box. We grew up in the same right, place. Shalom, the brain's tight lock. The deep sleeps and Isaiah. Shalom, y'all. Shalom, y'all. We getting everything up and running here. You know what it is. Your boy Michael Israel here. Israelites, our ancestors, Jerusalem, full of posers. What they did to Joseph, look a little closer. Right. Brother turning into me and hit you with the poker. Oppressors, they oppose us back. At I got a lot to get up and running here, so just bear with me. You know, you know the way it goes. All praises to the most high. Oops. Side story, side story. All, all types of technical difficulties. Read the book and it won't yeah. lie. Can't make that up. For his glory, right. for his glory, Yo. it's a shame. Losing hope to gain normality, cause our reality right. is the mortal combat fatality. We good, we good. And declining of all we, morality. We working through all the technical the difficulties. Still happening on the internet. The yeah, we're gonna, we gonna get it up and going here right momentarily. Uh, I'm working all the bugs out. Like I said, we're gonna be kicking it off with the... Uh, let me turn this down a little bit so y'all can hear me. Like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna be kicking it off with the premiere of the G. Craig Lewis rebuttal. Um, we smacking him in the head with one, two punches. You know what I'm saying? You seen uh, Major's video earlier today. And uh, you seen... Uh, all right, all right, all right. Shalom, shalom, shalom. That was uh, Morris checking in. He, he, Morris is in the building. Shalom, shalom. Can you hear me? Yeah, well, you good. You good. I'm just getting everything set up, so I, I, I'll be with you in, in one minute. Hold on, Mike. Let me let you know this. <clears throat> the movie thing is still downloading. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to do like a little talk session. And then what, what might have to happen is let them know. Yeah, we, we we live now, so. Oh, we live? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so everybody. Yeah. So we good. All right, I'll be with you in one sec, though. Let me get everything up and go. Okay. All right. So yeah, like uh, uh, like you guys heard, um, like you heard more say, uh, we, like we he the the, uh, the documentary is fresh off the press, so you know what I'm saying. They're still sending it to me. Once I get it, we're gonna we're gonna get it up and going. But in the meantime, we're gonna just like um, uh, more said, we're gonna do a little talk session. Um, we're gonna chop it up. Find out how everybody's doing, how everybody did uh, fend it through that hurricane up there in the Carolinas. And uh, we're going to put out a little bit of information for everybody. Um, I, I talked to, uh, I talked to, all right, there we go. Yeah, I, I got off the phone earlier with um, Ron Dalton. And uh, he was just letting me know today that he uh, solidified the plans for the location of his, of the release of his documentary in December. So sometime this week, I'll bring him on and we'll go through all that. Or if he just gives me the information, I'll put that out, you know. But uh, y'all give me one second and we're going to get started. Yeah, 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 yeah
The documentary is the one on G. Craig Lewis that they've been working on. It's a it's a rebuttal to the uh, the stuff G. Craig Lewis has been doing. If you come against the scriptures, man, we gonna rise up. If you come against our heritage, we gonna rise up. It don't matter if I can get it, man, we gonna rise up, rise up. We rise up. If you come against the king, man, we gonna rise up. If you come against our Elohim, we gonna rise up. It don't matter if I can get it, man. Shalom, Richardson Cal. Rise up, rise up. Oh, me, oh, my. Atheist tweet, no, I'm G. Yeah. Life came to a standstill and then got real with the prophecies. Uh -oh. Every time we the pass go, monopolize the monopoly. Shalom, sis, I only love. 300 charge us for the property. Yeah, y'all gave us this authority. To be honest, got it honestly. honestly Which buddy. means we are joint heirs. Sami's twins on a trampoline. We speak what he wrote. Melania's speech, Michelle's notes. Israel hit the ground running like a breech birth because we got hope. Ooh. Hold up, hold up. Yeshua is the Messiah. Yeshua is the Messiah. It's his will over our will, so we call us student drivers. He calls us his song. Sorry, Mariah. Sorry, Mariah. Hope carry these notes. Addressing all outsiders, we will if rise up. If you come against the scriptures, man, we gon' rise up. If you come against our heritage, we gon' rise up. It don't matter if I get it, man, we gon' rise up, rise up. We rise up. If you come against the king, man, we gon' rise up. If you come against our Elohim, we gon' rise up. It don't matter if I get it, man, we gon' rise up. In the morning, see my people in poverty, crying out to my people, yeah. asking me why you bother me. Bother. Slaves, we living in colonies, walking like zombies who bread with our batteries. Even preacher man a preacher man, down low with them sodomies. And no, it isn't an oddity, rather the norm, so check the academy. They say it ain't easy, I guess that's the academy. But rise, I'm getting an anatomy, know that they lie to me, no longer lie to me. The shoe have flipped up the yeah. process. Yeah, yeah I'm the pottery. Right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What they gonna do when they show up? Will they ever grow up? Cause someone rather free with a bullet than a running plant seed with a sower. You remember know what? What you gonna be when the blow when they have a receive seed? Then it grow up. Then you're gonna go up. You better read me what you know of mainframe deep. All right, shalom, y'all. Shalom, shalom, shalom. It's your boy, Michael Israel. You watching Spiritual Combat Show. And as you know, we got the Rebirth crew on here. And I will pull them up here in a second. All right. And let me, uh, uh, there we go. There we go. Somebody has their mic up pretty loud. But uh, anyway, shalom, brother Josh. Shalom, brother Morris. Shalom, fam. What's going on? Hey, shalom, shalom. Yeah. Um, and as y'all know, uh, tonight is the release of, and say the name of the documentary, uh, Josh, if you could. Uh, it's, it's called Black Lives Matter, but um, uh, EX Ministry exposed Black Lives Matter. Okay, all right. And uh, L I E S. Yeah, not lives, lies. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Black lies. Okay, I got you. I got you. All right. And um, 
Like we said, oh, okay. It, I think I've received it already. Nah, I doubt it. Okay. It's doubt it. Said, 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 you, I sent you a, a photo, the photo for the uh, okay. thumbnail, but I haven't sent you the uh, actual video. Was about You got about 30% 30, 30 left before okay. I get to you. All right, so we'll we'll have it up and going here momentarily, and um, I'll just put this up here. So this is the uh, the flyer for it, and it like you said, it's Black Lives Matter. Oh man, I ain't even seen the flyer. I bet it's dope. It, it's real nice. Okay, <laughs> and like I said, um, uh. This video here, we need y'all to share this thing. Put yes. it out there. Get it out there. You know, this is, we need everybody involved. This is a team effort, just like we were talking about the other night um, when Ron was on, uh, Ron Dalton was on here. Everybody working together, putting this thing out far and wide. And um, if, if y'all could talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> You know, anytime we do a documentary, man, we're not just trying to do, um, you know, just a rebuttal. We try to make the documentary um, as a, informative as possible. So um, let's say if it's something and then you get you share it to your friend or your uncle or your cousin or your mama, or your, your play friend, your play cousin, um, you send it to them, it's going to have the information there. So it's not like fences. Of course, we addressed um, the things that, that G. Craig said, but there's also a lot of other information. That's just um, that if anybody watched it for the first time, they might they might be the first time they heard it. They might just see G. Craig um, uh, exposed, or they might just see EX Ministries, and they 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 see that um, that tagline, and they might not be ready for all the other information. It might be the first time they actually heard they actually heard that information. So if you're sharing it to people, it's not just um, a rebuttal in that we we addressing things that he's saying, but we actually giving. The, um, a lot of the information that addresses who we are and how we got in this situation. Um, and because we, we pretty much run the, the whole spectrum on the things that was addressed. And through that, you know, like I said, by you sharing it to your friends and your family, they might just think that, oh, they, they you know, we addressing um, uh, certain points that they believe in Christianity, but they actually end up getting the full spectrum of the information about who we are. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I say the same thing. It's important. That once we drop it, yeah, once we go live on here, everybody share it. But then once we drop it to the YouTube channel, everybody share it. I want everybody to post it on their page so everybody can see it. And we want it to be, you know, sent, sent, because we want to, if, if you know ES Ministry or somebody in it, send it to them. Because we want to mm -hmm. be able to get everybody the other end of the spectrum, you know, uh, make it important. So, because a lot of times with documentaries like this, you know, the arguments be so weak that it really becomes a teaching session. But we really just teaching the people exactly the information of what they need to know. But um, please, when we um, when we drop it, please, the next day, post it on your page. Pick a few days out the week to share it to all your friends, share it to Messenger, share it to all the Hebrew groups, share it to the Christian groups, share it to ES Ministries, everybody that we can. Those that are in Texas, please. Share it all down. If you got to take it and make a uh, DVD out of it, yeah. drop it off to his mailbox, to the church mailbox. Send it to his to his uh, <laughs> to his PO box. You know, what I'm send it everywhere so he can know. You know that he done bought up the wrong tree. He messed up. It's we, not no. If we want it to land man. right on his desk. We want, <laughs> we want him watching that junk tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But exactly, absolutely. man. Because he really, he really made yeah. so many mistakes in that and those in this thing and um uh, pastor kelly richardson did a phenomenal job if you uh, if you haven't seen his rebuttal please go look at pastor <laughs> kelly richardson, uh, rebuttal it was so professionally done on um, the way he did with the graphics and the documentaries and man he really exposed and this is the part we didn't put in there pastor kelly really exposed where he got his information from mm. and he showed that he went on a website and right. read line for line, no research, no studying, no uh, <clears throat> going out field study, no talking to nobody, interviewing to get. All he did is went to a man, a man website, and took some points from there 
and spoke it, spoke about it as, it, as, it, as if it was his own. Now, this is why it's important I tell people, listen, you got to get out of your mind. You got to follow the most high. It don't matter because I used to follow Craig Lewis as far as some stuff that he taught on the uh, hip hop industry, on the music industry it was dynamic. It was very well researched, man. It was real good. <coughs> but it goes to show you that sometimes you can start off good in the beginning as a researcher. And then later on, you can get prideful and just think, well, you ain't got to dig that much. Folks just going to listen to what you say. And then you just put something out there that's not well researched, not well studied. And then people that follow him, that's why you have to be your own man and your own woman. We always tell you with us, back, go back and backtrack and research everything that we say. Because we ain't never just putting that nothing out. Right. It's important that you don't just follow a man based off what he did in the past. You really have to see uh -huh. line up on line, just like the Bereans doing and making sure that everything that people are saying is aligning up. So this this documentary is going it's, 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 it's going to be powerful. It's going to be powerful. And and it, and it's going to be uh it's going to be the first of many, right? Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's more like the last of many. Uh everybody in the movie did a rebuttal. Yeah. Um <laughs> you can go on YouTube probably see like 96,000 of them. I mean like I went on YouTube. I'm like, man, everybody coming at Craig Lewis, man. Wow. They got, uh, man, um, Craig, Craig Lewis will be coming at Craig, came at Craig Lewis. So many people came at Craig Lewis. <laughs> um, but, you know, it is what it is, you know. And we, we, you know, we do things a little bit different. So, you know, the way we, you know, we do package it and we try to do it a certain way. Um, so, uh, like I said, every time we try to do a documentary, we try to present it in a way um, that you can present it to other people and, and they can get the same information. Um, I mean the information that um, that most people don't have about who we are. So hopefully that's hopefully that um, that accomplished that. Hopefully people watch it and it'd be something they send to their friends and because we we address we address all the major points about um, objections and it's it's kind of like he went through. It's almost like G. Craig had like took a list of all the of the weakest objections that you possibly can have about who we are <laughs> and. Did a rebuttal on it. it. It's like he, he. It's almost like he took a, a crash course on how on how to get um, busted in a debate concerning the Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> um, so, but anyway, so he did that, and we addressed all those points in um, in depth, in depth, really. So, um, hopefully, that it'll be something that again be information informational um, for people, and they can pass it on. Yeah, and and and, and one of the things is uh, is. It, it looks like what his strategy is is just to keep his people from the truth, tell them whatever, just so he could kind of keep them to himself, you know? Because I, I I noticed that, I guess, if you try to reach out to any of his people, I, I've heard a lot of people say they'll just block you or whatever, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, a lot yeah. of things A lot of things you got to look at he doing is twofold. Uh, a lot of things is um, it's damage control, number one. There's a lot of people that's leaving um, the uh, quote unquote uh, <clears throat> umbrella of, of uh, the Christianity that's out here and they waking up and they really going into the scripture themselves and they seeing these things and a lot of them are leaving these churches and are leaving these uh, a lot of things because they're not trying to give an answer to a lot of the objections that's coming out there. So it's two things people coming to, people even going to, um, to the Israelites or people going to the comedics. So it's important to be able to handle this, but a lot of them are so upset, they don't know how to handle something, so they're trying to fuss people into staying in what they is, trying to fuss people into staying in the Christianity. And you look at his videos, uh, <laughs> that's what he's doing, because the arguments are terrible. And the stuff that Ooh. he's saying is just, it's, it's ridiculous. Like the, the self-hatred is just like anything dealing with people of color and black, he tried to disassociate himself from it, go way left. And by going way left, he really um, do the people this this service. As far as some of the statements that he said, man, it's just amazing. But let me show you the business strategy of what he's doing, because he's smart. You got to remember, any publicity is publicity. Mm. So he know the hot thing right now is Hebrew Israelites. So he feel like if I come directly at them, then number one, it's going to do two things. People that don't know the Israelites going to buy the DVD to find out about it. And then the Israelite themselves going to buy it 
uh, to find out about it too, or, or, or you know, find a redo rebuttal or different things like that. So he looking at any publicity, even if it's bad publicity, it's good publicity because it's getting him well known. But what ha what he didn't realize, even though that's what he's doing. But the second thing is he don't realize how ignorant he gonna make himself look. Because if people get this documentary, get what Kelly did, did get what uh, Major Brown did, it's gonna really make him look silly, and his people gonna have to deal with that. And people that's connected to him. So this is an opportunity for us to be able to reach a different audience. And it was spirit led. It wasn't just like we're trying to do a rebuttal to anybody that say something. But we prayed about it. The Most High led us to do this in order to get His awakening out there even more. And it's done in a very professional and tactful way to let them see that it's more than just the crazy brews out there, but it's balanced brews out there also too. Because he would not want us to group him with Kirk Franklin and no. T. Dates. He would not want us to group him with it, but yet he grouped all Israelites together. You group him with Joel Osteen and uh, uh, T.D. Jakes and all these other jokers like that, which he do. He done did about 20 Truth About Hip Hip Hop and got Kurt Franklin and T.D. Jakes and all of them. Like, man, how much more can you talk about? <laughs> we know. He going to do Truth About Hip Hop. 50 and got Kurt Franklin. Kurt Franklin gonna be 80, 90 years old. He's still gonna be exposed. <laughs> Come on, man. TD Jason <laughs> ought to be in the grave. He's still gonna be exposing that man in the grave. Stop it, man. Stop. Kirk we know about Kurt Kirk Franklin. Kirk. We know about TD Jace. It's starting to get weird now. It's starting to get weird. <laughs> <laughs> you be saying one time for my ho for your holy mind. You be saying one more time for your feeble mind. It's gonna be nine hundred years old when we finish with um, the street. I, I don't. It's ridiculous. Like it's ridiculous. And like like you say, what you <clears throat> what you get from the documentary and what we put a cover off of, along with all the other scriptural elements, is like Mo just said that um, G. Craig hate himself and he hate his people. He does. And when you, when you pull the onion back. You look at everything he done said. When you you you, you look where where he's at, he has um he hates himself and he hates his people. Um, he he he's not going to admit to that, but his statements um you know you actually speak louder than words. So when you look when you when you um look at all put it all together, you will see that clearly that's that's the case. And because of that, he's refusing the information. Um, because in his mind, you know he has he has uh, one of the terms that I've been coining lately is the colonized mind. He has a colonized mind. And so, because, you know, because of that, man, he's he looking at everything like it's got to be it's got to be bad. It's got to be evil. It's got to be negative because it's black. Mm. Um, so his whole approach to it. And that's the reason why he's so lazy with his um with, with his um scholarship, because he feel like, well, it, it can't be nothing to it. So he didn't even spend no time trying to research because he don't want it to be true. And he said he said he didn't want it to be true. Mm. He said he didn't want it. Not now. It's different when you say you're a researcher. And you say, "Well, I'm trying to find out if something's true," versus you saying, "I don't want it to be true." So of course he's not going to look into the information. This whole thing. I mean, he did a video recently talking about he's he's daring people to, to debate him. He ain't there. He ain't daring nobody to debate him because anybody that really would really would, um would want to debate him that he knows is legitimate, he's not going to debate him yeah. because he's going to leave out. Matter of fact, um, uh, brother JT was messing messaging um him with some stuff and they just blocked him from the site. Mm. He's, he, he's talking now, about he wanted to do not want to debate now. <laughs> he do he don't tell him to tell him don't do that now. <laughs> don't do that. that. That ain't what he want. That ain't that is not what he want. Man. He ain't skilled enough in this arena to debate, man. He don't, don't tell him don't do that, man. That that'd be that that'd be a mistake. Yep. Big time, big time, man. Um, if y'all could real quick talk about um the rebirth radio. All right, so um it's up and running, twenty four hour music. Um, and a lot of people that we you know we got some man, we got some incredible, incredible artists like incredible uh, Hebrew um, musicians, artists, singers, and um, MCs. I mean, like um uh, like like your boy. Right there, for the Morris Williams, aka um, uh, uh, um, uh, what we call him? Takua Malachi. Takua Malachi. Now I'm calling him Nate Lyon. I call him Nate Lyon. 
Um, I know y'all heard the song before, um, uh, Fire My Soul, that that he did. I mean, you got your brother, your brother Jay Lutch. Everything Jay Lutch coming out with is straight, is straight fire. He on like right. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine songs right now. Everybody, he had the man. Um, sister Ayana is, you know, doing her thing. Sister, uh, um, um, brother uh, FM Stokes, aka Faith Music. Um, who am I missing? Um, sister, yeah, Sister Sharonda, her music is on there. It's fire. Um, brother Amir Ryder, he got song in there. It's fire. Um, we got other hey, people. Yeah. Go, go, go ahead, bro. EP. Oh yeah, DP. Oh yeah, 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 the Rise Up song, the DP, DP murder that. Um, we got people, and not only that's only people that that's people that we know. That's people that's in our circle, but it's people outside of our circle. They submitting songs, they Hebrew songs, and again, long as the, their songs are um, are clean, we do have a screening process, man. We don't do we don't do no profanity. So if you want to do some profanity, you got to find at a radio station. So we don't do that. We we family friendly. We brew friendly. We don't do that. So if you submit some songs, it's got some cussing in it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, uh, we're gonna give you the Sandman from the Apollo, and we're gonna shuffle, up, shuffle your stuff onto the back. Um, <laughs> we don't do no kill Esau music, none of that, you know. Um, so we don't do any music with no hate, nothing like that. So everything we do, it's gotta be, um, it's gotta be um, ministry focused or, you know, positive Hebrew music. So, but, but we have a ton of it on there, and um, we constantly um, putting new music out. Um, that, that will be updated on there. So 24 hours a day, um, music is streaming right now. If you, if you want to go check it out, you go to rebirthradio.net. Um, I know y'all hear a lot of songs that, we, that I play on the, um, on on lessons, and I try to do that to try to give some of the artists exposure, which I got to get. Oh, Brother Kevin Waiters. Brother Kevin Waiters. You gotta, brother Ke- Kevin Waiters got a song called History That's Straight. Five. If you ever heard? Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to play that pretty soon. But it's on the radio in rotation also. Um, so yeah, so but coming up pretty soon, uh, me and Mo gonna have a um, have a talk show that's gonna be on there. Um, and there's some other brothers. Um, Aquite gonna have teachers on there. Run um, Run Dalton Jr. Um, is gonna have a show on there. Um, uh, Amir and um, uh, Humble Tip. I mean Humble Lion. Um, my my, my bro. Who who we missing? Uh, Sister Cynthia, the Round Table. She gonna have a show on there. I think right. Sister. I'm more gonna have a show on there also too. Um, yeah. You and Yoshi Yahoo and Holder, we're working, we're working on that. We ain't, I gotta, man, I gotta contact them, but we, we, they agreed to it. We just gotta get it going. Yoshi Yahoo and Holder gonna have a show on there also. Yeah. We just gotta so get we, it, get it up and running. We just been like busy trying to knock out all these uh, documentaries, and we uh, also doing school curriculums, and uh, then you got family life and work and all these type of things we're trying to put together, but. The um, talk show is going to start soon. It'll probably start off with me and Josh. Um, that'll be soon, and uh, we'll be able to hit uh, every, uh, every other Sunday or every Sunday you have something to tune in that uh, me and Josh will be doing this uh, State of the uh, uh, state of the Nation address where you'll be able to. Uh, I know a lot of us be, you know, after Shabbat on Saturday, on Sunday, we used to be resting and laying around. So you have something to tune in to um, then uh, with that. So. You know, we definitely excited about Rebirth Radio. And I always, also want to do this plug, man. Rebirth Augusta, uh, one of our sisters here, uh, she came up with a remix to The Shimmer. And I put some music Uh-oh. in it. Hey, it's going to be it's gonna be off the chain. I need a bass player, though, man. I need a bass player going to take it to another level. But that remix going, y'all will see it in a minute. Y'all will see it. It's going to be nice. Um, hey, speaking of songs, me and, but real quick, speaking of songs, me and Mo got a song brewing that we trying to get with Brother Tierris. And it's gonna be a song about who y'all, bro. When they when it drop, it's gonna hey Africa, y'all be ready for it. <laughs> Africa, we, we got we got a track for you. We got a track for you. Um, the whole continent, you know. So we got something for you that they're working on. Um, if you could, um, uh, more talk about um the rescheduling of the event that we were gonna have in Augusta that that we had to cancel because of the storm. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> that event in Augusta, uh, defending the faith conference. Um, that's going to be. Um, I let you know probably by the end of the week. But it's either going to be the first weekend in October or the third weekend in October. I might put it right after uh, we get back from Sukkot that next weekend, and uh, we'll do it then. Uh, we're going to bring those different pastors in uh, on it on a Saturday. So I will let you know <clears throat> within a few days. I'll probably give it to. 
uh, Michael Israel to make an announcement about it. But we're going to reschedule that. We're going to definitely do that in October. Very excited about that because we got brothers that are coming down. And we're going to be breaking down the history and the information about these aspects of, uh, of the uh, replacement theology, uh, preterism, um, <clears throat> the law, whether the history of uh, how we got people um, in their curriculum is in their seminary saying that the law is done away with that leads back to a person or two. Then we got um, Major's going to come. He's going to teach on the takeover of the church when the Israelites got um, in persecution and they left after the apostles and generations after that, that the um, Gentiles took over that. And that's why another reason to replace the theology. Brian Council is going to be there. Um, <clears throat> the brother going to be um, teaching how to defend the Sabbath and you know, we'll also be breaking down the Masonic um, ties to a lot of these doctrines and different things that's in um, this Western Christianity over here, like your Charles Spurgeons and your different ones like that, and show what it was really in your. What's the other guy, Josh? Uh, uh, Calvin. Who? Calvin. John Calvin. John Calvin. <laughs> Martin Luther. Martin Luther, yeah, be able to show the uh, Masonic ties. Uh, to different things so you can see what doctrine you're really um, trusting in. Uh, we put them back to scales in this, so we're going um, to definitely be ready. Also want to put a plug in, I think in December, Majors, William Majors in Atlanta, he's going to do a conference called the Balance Brews. And the Balance Brews are going to be doing presentations and giving their information to, rebut, to rebuttal a lot of the information that's out there about people saying what we believe and saying we all this and saying we all this. So we're going to do a conference they equip our people so our people will be ready to give an answer. <coughs> okay. Well, the funny thing is, hold on a second. The funny thing is, think about Christianity. Christianity got 40,000 denominations. 40,000. Mm. But yet, they believe that every Israelite believe the same thing. Hmm. <laughs> just, just, think of, just think about that mindset now. You're talking about a faith that's 40 thousand of them things, the 40,000 denominations. And they believe that this one group, it just, what, what faith in the world has one belief, just one straightforward belief um, system with no kind of splinter, splinter groups. You know, even Islam has the Sunni and Shiite, you know, you understand what I'm saying? So, but you're talking about a, a, a religion that has 40,000 denominations going to, going to um, think that whatever that whatever this belief is is monolithic and everybody believe the exact same thing which is crazy yeah that's that's crazy i mean they they, they all know better than that <laughs> um also i know there was a uh women's conference that that got rescheduled yeah you know about that more uh morris or john moses talking about only love coming to sakope mm. No, 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 Sister Nina. I know she put out something for oh, Nina. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I think that's. Uh, I think that's that's not a rebirth event though. Oh, okay. I got you. I got yeah, you. That's something she's doing on her own. I think she did reschedule it though. I don't got the dates because, like you said, it's not actually a rebirth event. So, oh, okay. um, I really don't know the dates to really give it justice um, on what it'll be. I think she scheduled it for. Um, December time frame, but I'm not sure. She'll be able to come on and let you guys know about it. But that's something that she's um, and some sisters in Atlanta getting together and having a brunch with other sisters in the city and, and, and around in the community. Okay, okay. And then real fast, while, while I have, um, while everybody is uh, is online here right now, I, I, this is one of the things I said that uh, I'm going to keep doing is – Make sure you guys um, register on this on this site. Our Mentor Connect it's, it's a heat, and when you you just go to um, the website, and the purpose of it, I'll just read what uh, they put as the purpose is. Um, we developed our Mentor Connect to be a lifestyle resource to connect Hebrew individuals, communities, and businesses. So just make sure you get on there and register. She said a whole bunch of people have been coming in there now, putting their stuff on. I know Koya put her stuff on. I put my information on there. And it's A-R-A-M-I-N-T-A 
connect. And they are descendants of Harriet Tubman, and that uh, Armenta was her name. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, sure. And it's just a good place for if you got a business or if you just a group, you know, a balanced Hebrew or whatever, and you want people to know that, hey, I got a, a you know, a community here or whatever we meet here or whatever, you know, it's just a good resource uh, for events. If, if we're having events, so it's a centralized place where everybody could go check, you know, check. Yeah, let me also put this plug in. Uh, September the 25th in Atlanta, Georgia, those that um affiliated with Rebirth, we're doing the uh, Feast of Trumpets. Oh. And uh, September the 25th in Atlanta, Georgia, you can get with um, Amir, but Amir Ryder, <clears throat> and um, he got the information as far as the flyer and stuff on that. You can even look on my pages on. But September the 25th, and we'll start at 1 o'clock. We'll start at 1 o'clock, those that can make it um, down there. We'll be in Atlanta, Georgia, at the uh, Rebirth Atlanta down there, fellowshipping with them. So we would love to see you there. Also, um, that's it for Sukkot, y'all. Um, it's sold out. It's <laughs> sold out. We can't be opening stuff up. You know, listen, we had from last April that we started talking about that. Now, you know, we get down to the nitty gritty. Um, you know, so it's really sold out and we don't want to get there and the people saying y'all overcrowded, so y'all got to go. They were saying the max is going to be 200. So now we, 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 we are going over the max a little bit, but we have to cut it off. Um, because that's just pretty much sold out, man. But I'm just excited that many people excited about coming and doing the feast together, man. So that's going to be a powerful time. Awesome time. Got a lot of things planned with that. Uh, did, hey, Mike, anybody got any questions while we on her? Yeah, so if y'all have any questions about anything, um, uh, if y'all have any questions, go ahead and uh, put them in there. You know, I, I, I'm streaming across a whole bunch of different areas. So if y'all got any questions, I'm, I'm scanning everything. Um, so we'll, we'll definitely uh, address them. And, and if y'all are just now tuning in, we're getting ready to premiere the um, the documentary. It's a rebuttal against some of the stuff G. Craig Lewis had, uh, of EX Ministries has been saying about Hebrew Israelites. And Josh, go ahead and um, what's the title of it again? Uh, it's uh, EX Ministries Exposed Black Lies Matter. Black Lies, not Black Lives. Black Lies, L-I-E-S. Okay, and and you see the flyer he made for it right there. Okay. What 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 we got? What's the percentage on it now? Uh, we got about seven minutes. It's, it's uh at ninety four percent. And oh. that and w that's what we're waiting on. Waiting, we're waiting on it to uh, upload. So we'll be getting started here momentarily. Um, and what I'm gonna do uh. I'm going to let Mo and Josh talk, and I'm going to check for, um, I'm going to see what questions y'all are asking in the comments, and we'll we'll start addressing them. Yeah, I think the last thing uh, he didn't put out there now, uh, I think Brother Kelly was talking about it earlier, that um, the defending of the Christmas holiday. Ooh. <laughs> Christmas and getting on people for not celebrating Christmas. Wow. And tell us that we wrong for, uh, we Jewish are wrong for celebrating the holy days. That, I just, I, I don't understand how you can be the researchers but can't research that Christmas was wrong. And don't realize that Christmas was banned in America at one point because America did the research <laughs> back right. then. You know, before they commercialized it and made it up. You, geared it to be different. So it's just like, I I don't understand that. But he 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 wanted to defend keeping Christ in Christmas when Christ ain't never been in there. He in his feast days. He ain't never got out them feast days. <laughs> the feast days have always been about Mashiach in the most highest appointed times. But he wanted to take Mashiach out of the feast and put him in Christmas and keep him in Christmas. Mm, mm, mm. That's something, man. Okay, so we got some questions. Questions are beginning to come in. The first question was, 
Uh, somebody was saying they couldn't find the radio app. They couldn't find the app oh, for the radio station. I, you know, we we should have it set up. I haven't had a chance to. We didn't have it running at first because, um, you know, um, financial um, strains. But um, we got it. We it'll be up. It will be up, but I haven't had a chance to get to get it all set up. And the reason being is because um, he's working on this three-hour documentary. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, um, this last literally this last whole week has been like all day, um, every day, um, whether uh, researching for uh, services or working on this this move. So, but give it about you know two weeks, and the app should be up. But um, you don't have to get the app. I mean, if you want to listen to it, you won't have to listen to the app. You can actually go to directly to the site. The second you go on the site, you put in rebirthradio.net. It's going to be a player on there. You just click play and it automatically starts playing. All right. And then somebody, um, yeah, we are, if you're on Facebook, yeah, we are. We're streaming on YouTube, on Spiritual Combat, on um, Hebrew Nation Builders. And on Ron Dalton's uh, Moses Levi. So we're on, uh, on there right now live. So um, Shout out to Hebrew Psychopedia. <laughs> yes, yeah. sir. That's the man, the professor. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, somebody asked, why won't Lewis, why won't G. Craig Lewis meet with uh, Hebrews or meet with balanced Hebrews? Want to go? Who you want to go first? Go? It's, it's not. It's not about. It's an. It's not about truth. When it's not about truth, but about your agenda and your biases, you won't sit down with a brew to get understanding. When you study something with a predetermined mind that is wrong, and not that that is wrong, but it you it's enmity about it, which you're thinking about this subject, then you'll never be able to sit down and talk about it because in your mind, like he already said, I don't want this to be right. He said if 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 he said right. he don't want to serve a black Messiah. He don't want it if he can right. it. he didn't say those things. So different things when a person have a mindset like that, it's no it's no way of reasoning with them because they already been predetermined in their mind that it's wrong. So of course what are you going to do? He's going to go get the most vile uh, Israelites as he can in order to make them all of the Israelites so it can get it can vindicate or justify his emotions, justify his feelings, justify his stance. And then he can put that same thinking on the people because what he don't, he probably getting so many questions. Like you say, he said, I get about 20 emails a day from pastors wanting to know and worried about this Israelite movement. So the way to get your mind closed about it, he'll say, this is what Hebrews believe. Not some, but he'll say, this is what all Hebrews believe to get you to reject it. So in their mind, when they hear anything, when you're walking by somebody, you're in the store, and they go probably from Craig Lewis uh, ministry and watch his videos, right? And you tell them, or uh, they ask you what's your favorite, you say you're an Israelite, immediately everything that Craig Lewis says, they mind and shut down for hmm. And they're going to believe this is what you believe. And they're going to try to deal with you based off his research or based off his rebuttal. That's why a lot of times now when you're talking to people that so-called have studied the Israelites, they have a certain way, a predisposed idea of what you believe. And they try to deal with you according to that. You know what I'm saying? So dealing with that, <clears throat> he won't sit down with no balance, bro. If he sit down with one of them camps, one of them caps to eat them up. <laughs> yeah. them, what a man, man, one of them caps, them brothers will take that scripture and wear his behind out. <laughs> Cause them boys, them boys studious now. I mean, they, they be going off because of they the hatred. But man, when come the line up on line scripture, that tit for tat, he wouldn't want to do that neither. <laughs> no, he <clears throat> But listen, y'all, I got to um I gotta get ready to go to work. All right. So Josh, uh, you know, you'll be able to have to answer the rest of the questions. I just wanted to be on for a while and I'll be listening in while I'm on the way. Okay. All right. You should have it now. Uh... All right. All right. Shalom, everybody. I right. love y'all. I got to go to the J-O-B. Like, like we said in the song, 
Well, you come against the scriptures and you come against our heritage, what are we gonna do? We gonna rise, rise up. We gonna rise up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, family, shalom. All right, shalom. All right, shalom. All right so uh, let me, uh, I'm gonna set Josh up on here. I gotta, let me fix this real quick. All right. Yeah, check your email, make sure you got it, bro. Okay, all right. So, all right, well, let's see. And hopefully my uh, connection, it should download a whole lot faster than it uploaded. But I am doing a lot right now, so. All right, so it's downloading, so it shouldn't shouldn't be long. Okay. And uh, let me get you back up here so folks can see you. Uh, uh, and there were some questions, um, a bunch of them. All right. Let me see. Okay. All right. All right. So the first question was, um, will there be RSVP for uh, the event or when does the RSVP for the event in New Orleans, when does that open up? Oh, now, hey, when it comes to dates, times, information like that, you got to talk to Dewita and Mo on that. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, Dewita, Dewita got all the information. You know, she's the secretary, so um, she she, she the one to contact about RSVP. And if you email uh, rebirth of the <clears throat> rebirth of a nation dot info mm -hmm. at Gmail, mm -hmm. you um you can contact her and Dewita give you. If you're looking for information about RSVP, email rebirth of a nation dot info at Gmail, and, and Dewita will um, get you straightened out. Okay, all right. And then uh, some uh. Another person was asking, will there be baptisms at Sukkot? And that's a good question. If yeah, they hey, what did it, what did um um what did they tell the eunuch says, see, there's water. What does him <laughs> need to be baptized? <laughs> hey, is water done? Get it done. That's what I say. Okay. Ain't no All right. And then Let's see. Ooh, I think because I got all this stuff up and running, it's downloading real slow. Oh, okay. Um, we'll have to uh, we'll have to figure something out. I mean, if you got to, um, you know, we could reconvene. I mean, you just yeah, let us know. But I might be. Uh, I'm. I might be able to play it. Yeah, I think I think what what uh, we're gonna have to do is just um, upload it. You know, you upload it on on the Rebirth of a Nation website, and I'll upload it because yeah, it's 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 talking about uh, three hours. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So, Ooh. but I think um, it 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 was good to have this because now you know we really put it out there that you know you know we really got the information out there everybody knows this is getting ready uh to check it out um let me see i'm still checking though just bear with me all right Uh, all right. Yeah, it's uh, I I think because I'm doing so much on my computer now. Let me see. Yeah, we'll give it a couple more minutes, but I think the good the the good part is everybody knows that it's it's getting ready to be up 
and uh, that everybody will be able to see it. Um, let's see. All right. Let me see how fast this. Yeah, it's not. It's not going any quicker. So. Okay, well, that's no problem. Um, like I said, because it'd be. Um. Um. If we got to premiere another time, we can. We can do it tomorrow. Okay. So just, just let me know. All right, y'all. So what we're going to do is I'm going to continue downloading it and uh, me and John's going to talk and we're going to get it uploaded. So so basically between you'll see it all over the place between today and tomorrow, you know, at some at some period, I'm going to talk with Josh about, uh, you know, how he wants to go about doing that. Um, but with with that said, I think what we're going to do is just I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I, I think it, it, it's good that we got all the information out there. Everybody is aware that this thing is getting ready to come out. And uh, when, when you do see it come out, definitely share it. Um, and I think we got a lot of good information out. Um, but with that said, I'm going to wrap this up. Just keep an eye out for the video when it comes out. Um, we apologize, just slow internet connections and everything like that. We don't, you know, we know y'all got to go to work tomorrow too. So, you know, we don't want to have y'all up too late. And, um, but anyway, with that said, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, Josh, just stay, stay on the phone. Um, but we're going to wrap this up. Sorry about that with the slow internet connection, but the video will be up soon and definitely share it when, uh, when you see it out. With that said, I'm going to wrap this broadcast up. Shalom, y'all. Shalom.